Okay, so we're going to be cover... Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be covering two games in this one video because you know, just making separate videos on this is like pointless, I guess. So I'm so excited to talk about these two games. I mean, I love them so much and I'm just so happy that we're finally getting a Crisis 2 remastered. And I know, I know, I, I know, there's, it's not going to have multiplayer. I'm sure people are going to mod a multiplayer in, which is fine. But please give it a multiplayer. So I love Crisis. Uh... Two, specifically two. I haven't played three. <laughs> so, I, now, Crisis 2 was the first Crisis I ever played. I played it on the PlayStation 3 when it launched on that console. And it was a big deal because that was the first time a Crisis game came out on console. And uh, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I was actually very good at it. And apparently, and here's the funny thing. I bought a PlayStation 3 in, in 2008. And I did not touch the online Placed it PSN, never played online. Then Crisis 2 came out and I started playing online and that's when the great PlayStation outage happened. And I was like, yeah, I have the PlayStation 3 for like 2009, 10, 11, three years. I don't play online. The second I find a game I want to play online, PSN goes offline for like two months or how long it went down. And uh, I'll shut up now. Let's just go into the article. So 10 years. Oh my God, I feel so old. It looks like a Crisis 2 remaster is in development. The official Crisis Twitter account dropped the tease earlier this week with two tweets. The first uh, states they used to call me Prophet, which refers to the Crisis 2 character Major, uh, Major Lawrence. Prophet, uh, and then a follow-up tweet gives away note, note, but the wide eyes emoji. So these are the tweets. The following day, it shared a screenshot from Crisis 2 and yet another eyes emoji. Given 2021 marks 10 years since Crisis 2 first debuted and the original game's remaster released last year, it's certainly logical that the team would turn to the next to the sequel next. That's true. Although a lot of commentators in the subsequent Twitter threads suggested they'd rather a fourth installment than yet another remake. Oh, though re a remaster, I guess it's going to be. Now this is this makes sense because uh, Crytek is not doing so well financially, from what I heard the past couple of years. So them doing remasters, uh, it's just like they're trying to get some funding to be able to make another game. And uh, yeah, if, if it means getting a remastered Crisis with online, hopefully, I, I, I don't mind honestly. Um, I'll buy the game, I'll play the shit out of it, and uh, yeah, this is this is exciting for me at least. So. Uh, Crisis Remastered is out now on Nintendo Switch. Wow, I, I did not know that thing was on the Switch. Actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. I remember re watching a video by, well, ironically, Digital Foundry's Eurogamer. And uh, yeah, okay, PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Yeah, there you go, Digital Foundry. <laughs> Spent time with the game last month, testing. I'm actually playing Doom on my Switch right now. And uh, after having played a whole hell of a lot of Dark Souls, uh, it's a lot of fun. Love my Switch. The Crisis Remastered upgrade for the PlayStation 5 can, can, confer, can confirm that overall we're looking at the same results for the Sony platforms as, as we are the, for Xbox Series X, with a couple of changes brought about by the fact that PlayStation 5 retains the resolution settings for each mode as found on the PlayStation 4 Pro, a common situation on so-called Back Compat Plus tiles. However, Digital Foundry's John confirmed that delivering an actually locked 60 frames per second uh, experience seems to be beyond both versions, and the reason behind this are puzzling, which is why everybody should play on PC. Though n not everybody can now because, uh, yeah, our graphics cards, they're just, they don't exist. Never mind. There's no PC gaming. There's just consoles. Graphics cards don't exist unless you want to run the game on your CPU. So, exciting news. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get the game, as I've said like 50 times. Next up, we're going to be jumping into... The next, well, okay, so this one is a bit of a tricky one. Saints Row, the third remastered, arrives on Steam with discounts for owners. So for those of you that, that, that don't know, uh, Saints Row, the third, has been remastered for a while now, but it was only available on the Epic Game Store. I did not know that when I played the game recently and captured footage. I played through the whole goddamn game because I needed to record it. So I finished all the... The, what do you call it? The story missions, and I finished all the extra side missions where, like, you clear up the map and you where you own the whole city, and that took like 15 hours, and I recorded all of it because I, oh my god, because I did not know 
that there was a remastered version of the game. Because I went to Steam. I was like, Steam, is there a remastered Saints Row? And they were like, no. And I was like, okay. Then have more than halfway through the game, like 10, 8 to 10 hours into the game, I found out that the remastered version, which looks better than the, you know, it's like here or there. It's not a crazy remaster, but it's, it's a remaster still. Available in the Epic's Game Store. And I was like, oh my god, I'm 10 hours in, and now you tell me that I could have just, you know. But, I don't know, I like to having all my games in one place, so. Uh, yeah. So, I don't regret just waiting and now i'm gonna buy it on steam i guess because they're offering me a discount so let's ju just jump into the thing after a year of epic game store exclusivity i know saints row the third remastered is now available on steam with the 40 percent launch discount just give it for goddamn free if you own the original version and it's dlc you can get a bundle that will give you a 65 percent discount cool I, I love saints row so the remaster has new models for all the characters, which is the most immediately obvious difference, that's true, as well as the vehicles and weapons, plus improved visual effects, lighting, lighting, and city activity. Oh my god! Feels like I played it for no reason. I mean, I had fun, but like, oh my god, now I have to replay the remastered version, not anytime soon, and just recapture the whole entire game. So, Sony... Sony's. Oh, it also contains all the original uh, originals expansions. Yeah, that's why they want to make sure that you have all the bundles before they give you 65% off. Those criminals. Okay, Saints Row the Third is an open world criminal crime comedy. Criminal comedy. Crime comedy that harks back to Grand Theft Auto when it was still funny. Come on, I thought GTA V was hilarious. Trevor, come on. In his 80, uh, 83% review, Tom Sr. said, It's worth saying right now that this is the stupidest game I've ever played. I mean that in a good way. Yeah. If you find yourself demanding reasonable answers to questions like, why does the tiger in my car calm, calm down when I do power slides? Or, why am I being chased by carts, carts pulled by gimps? And why did they just explode? Then you should steer clear from this ramshackle madness. If, however, everything desc described so far sounds like the best game ever made, then Saints Row the Third was built exactly for you. As for Saints Row, Saints Row. As for Saints Row 2, development of an official patch for its PC port continues. However, Mike Watson, aka Idol Ninja, who is leading the project after creating the well-regarded Gentleman of the Row mod. Whoa! I'm so happy for him! Because Gentleman of the Mod is the only way you can play Saints Row 2 on PC. My god. Has announced that he has... Okay, so... He has terminal cancer. Watson has stepped down as Volition's community manager, but will continue work on the patch. While I no, while I no longer be managing community, he wrote, I'll continue to work on this for as long as I'm able. Oh my God. <sighs> Please understand that this is 100% my choice to spend my last days contributing to it. Both Volition and Deep Silver have been incredibly supportive and have always given me the opportunity to leave the project with a Solomon view vow to make sure it gets finished without me. Oh my god. Dude, this is okay. Um uh, I wish him well. I hope I hope he beats it somehow. Um yeah, damn. Uh, yeah, I wish you luck, dude. Uh, all the best, and thank you for the mod. It gave me some of my favorite memories. Saints Row 2 is... I didn't have an Xbox, and if it wasn't for this man here, I wouldn't have been able to enjoy Saints Row 2. So, uh, I mean, he's still alive. I, I hope he's going to be fine. I wish him the best. And thank you, dude, for everything. And yeah, uh, with that being said... I I really did not expect that. That was. With that being said, for those of you who are watching, wherever you may be in this world, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.